anthropology that is a partnership between the department and the Indiana Arts Commission. And so it's my pleasure to introduce to you the project director of Traditional Arts Indiana, Jonathan Kay. And John will introduce our artist and take it from there. Great. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Uh, before I, I start talking with uh, John here, I want to thank a few other people. I want to especially thank the two uh, graduate student curators of this, uh, Selena Morales and Zilia Estrada. Uh, I think they just did a wonderful uh, job pulling these sticks together, and writing up the text and everything. Could we have just a round of applause for them? I also want to make sure I thank again Arts Week as well as the Mathers for, for allowing us to host this here. I'm really excited about this. We're going to just spend the next uh, 15 minutes or so just talking a little bit with uh, John Schoolman. And uh, one of the things that I noticed when I, when I met John the first time, Barb Petrick is here. Barb introduced me to him. She's his, his uh, lay promoter, you might say. And uh, she's she introduced us. And to me, there's a close connection between the sticks that John makes and the sticks that John carries and communication. He uses those in order to engage with people all around him and to talk about things and to engage ideas that sometimes we don't talk about. So I thought it would be really good to ask you, what stick did you bring with you today, John? I had some made up for mine. Oh. But this is the only one. It's a. About the only thing I can tell you is that you read a little of it. That yeah, please do. The little bird says, "A light heart lives longer." And this one says, "Blessed are the joy makers." And a lot of little things on here. To, many a good tune is played on an old fiddle. <laughs> that goes to me. <laughs> I'm over the hill, but the climb is terrific. <laughs> Gardening is landscape painting. I never feel age if you have creative work. You don't have age or time. And the poem there, I think I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree by Joyce Kilmer. I guess that's all of it. <laughs> no. Uh, Emerson says, Earth laughs in flowers. Did I have? I forgot. Not like, I think I told somebody else, uh, Red Skelton says, There's three ways you can tell a person is getting old. One of them is, he doesn't remember, forgets. <laughs> and the other one, <laughs> That's great. Well, John, I thought it'd be really good. You know, I got to come up and visit you just a couple of times. And hey, your stick's all done except you like me. I'm not going to bring it down here. <laughs> James with Moralia. A whole lot of cool big get in the cane. If Walking stick. It's walking stick. And he climbed onto it right away. So I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who do you make sticks for, John? Who? Yeah. Oh, who? my. Oh, boy. Uh, I, I think I made somewhere over 30. I call family tree. And the mother and the father, their name, parents of all the children, you know, children are usually in a heart. And grandparents and great grandparents and anymore, a whole cane that I think I made and for special people and gave them away, didn't get a dime on them, which made me feel good and made them feel good. And uh, I don't want to mention whether I spent I made. Went to Washington and she didn't mention that 
Don't mention it. You can. I, well, I made one for Bush. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, I, I, I got a note back from him, but whether it is, but he wrote it or somebody, probably someone else wrote it, I don't know. <coughs> they don't have time, you know, to go to individuals. I don't want to get into politics here. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of the theme of uh, the exhibit. <laughs> You got you got all the different ones in here. Yep, you haven't got that one in here. We've got the president's cane. Yeah. Yep, it's out there. Nobody's with you yet. Not with that. <laughs> That's why we keep it in a case. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I I think this is all all great. But you make you've made them for friends, you've made them for family, and you put certain things on on the sticks, kind of recurring themes, like a, a little yellow bird. Can you tell me what that is? And, I came upon that. Well, that's a nice little bird I like. I think it's my favorite. A lot of favorites. And I think I like that one. And I got started on it, never stopped. But and then I, I thought I couldn't find a map of Indiana on it. So you go on the back of the, the map of Indiana, and up in the corner says Pippis. I lived in Pippis, Indiana for 40 years. Got a little a little store there for 37 years. But, uh, <coughs> I don't know what's the other thing. A lot of them got faith, hope, hope and charity and what have you, a little item. <coughs> now, most of these things come out of books. Uh, I have a lot of, read, read an awful lot. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. Poems, a lot of poems. I like good poems. So I don't know what else. Uh, it's probably getting tired anyway out here. <laughs> I, I think that they could, they could uh, listen some more. I think. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I think this would be good for folks to hear. When you, uh, where do you keep your sticks? Where? The ones that you make. How many have you made, and where do you keep them? Several hundred. Thousands. <laughs> I tell you, you walk into my house and you back out. <laughs> the basement's full of caves, the top upstairs full of incidents have got them all back. What you, what you have, everything's back now. I guess Barb says he took them all back. Uh, it just, I don't mind it, but uh, can't do things in the house. I'm not a very good housekeeper anymore. <laughs> Let me let me share something. When you when you go to John's house, you literally you'll walk in the door and you see the space where he works. He's benched there with all of his paints, and then you glance around the room and you see stacks of rocks that he's painted. You see all types of fungus that he's painted butterflies and birds. You see little uh, crocs or, or barrels or tree stands that he has filled with sticks. And it's just like a whole wash of color. And then you've only seen just the beginning. You go down a hall, you see more. You go down in the basement, you see more. Where do all these sticks come from, John? Where do they come from? Yeah. Uh, I suppose most of the things I found, I just go on the road. I suppose uh, over the last good many years, I don't do it anymore, I don't drive too far. I suppose uh, uh, all in old roads, no fancy roads, gravel roads, I spent 30 mile radius of uh, Northwestern, I covered all that, hunting these things. Spent a fortune on car, gasoline, <laughs> a lot of fun. I don't begrudge a thing. Happy. That's great. Humming. I had a bad time last weekend. I had a dog bite down there. But a couple of years ago, and, and I guess you, something in my hip and it verts down, and that was awful. Last Sunday, couldn't sleep. Finally got up and put the heating pad on. But all that time, I'm still humming. Don't know what I was humming, but I'm humming. It helps. Sing a little if you can. I can't sing much anymore. That's one of the things that uh, I was going to lure you into doing. 
<laughs> well, I'll give you a choice here. One of the things that John is a, a great singer, I, 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 and I, I'm a firm believer in singing for the joy of singing. He also, when he says he reads a lot, he's a voracious reader and has tons of books and has read many Indiana authors and those sorts of things, and he can still quote poetry as well. So if you don't want to sing, maybe you could quote a, a poem for us. Oh, I don't mind a guess. You think I ought to sing? I think you ought to sing. <laughs> <laughs> what will I sing? Well, you were just telling me about the bluebird cane. I don't know what you said. Bluebird cane. Something about the bluebird. I can't get going on it. I, I don't know. How about C C that is very good. That's how, how about Playmate? Huh? Playmate. playmate. Well, there are no playmates here. <laughs> Blueberry Hill. Blueberry Hill, that's a good one. I wonder if I can. Toast dry. <laughs> <laughs> So you're not all sprouting them and stuff here. Any questions? What's your favorite wood to use? What type of wood do you use? What's your favorite wood to use? Sumac. Lightweight, easy to work. Can you tell them how that how it grows? So that you can show them your stick and how it grows. This, there's only one root on this one, I guess. Well, it cuts them off. But a lot of what you see out there, a lot of McCain's has a lot of roots. But these are, have to get out and get down my hands and eat and dig it out. Mm -hmm. It just, oh, it's a lot of fun. It's, sometimes it's painful, but get full of chiggers and everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions for John? Zell. How long does it take to make a cane? How long does it take you to make a cane like this one here? Well, I don't know. I've never timed it. But I, I stop and go and make it and then quit. I expect 
three or four days, maybe, or something like that. Just, that's more or less a guess. Here's another question over here. Uh, the type of paint he uses and what time, uh, the type, time of the year that he gets his wood. Okay. Uh, what t is there a special time of year that you get your sumac to, to work, and then what do you paint it with? Uh, usually in the spring, you know, uh, if you get it too early or too late, then it doesn't peel very good. The bark doesn't come off. But uh, after the sap comes up, it's easier with the sumac. I can take all the bark off in just two or three minutes. It just all comes off. And I use a I use acrylic paint and finish it with uh, shellac. Anything else? Uh, what's the first thing that you carve on each walking stick? Well, what's the what's the first thing that you uh, you carve or incise or draw on, on each of the walking sticks? How do you start? Well, first you've got to find out if I've got any words to put on, and if, and if you do, then I I put them on with a pencil mm -hmm. and I put it all in. If I'm going to have any special marks, I pencil that in, and then I'll burn it in with a little tool. And, and then start in painting. Do you get your ideas first and then find a piece of wood, or do you find that the wood inspires the idea for the decoration? Do you come up with an idea and then look for, for the stick to put it on, or does the stick no. kind of inspire the work? Well, I have a lot of sticks after it. Uh, usually not more than, uh, more than one, like maybe half a dozen or so. You get an idea and then you pick out a stick that fits it. You try to pick out a stick that fits it. And uh, sometimes I miss, miss it and don't work out right. But I've had canes. I have one of them. It's a stick, not so tall. It's bittersweet. Two, two just, just wound around, around, around. I don't know how many times I've sketched it. Erased it. But on one of those sticks, I got the Lord's Prayer, and on the other one, the Ten Commandments all intermingled and put it out. Uh, couldn't get it to work, couldn't get it to fit, but finally got it all on there, right? You just get ideas. Sometimes you look at a stick right here, two days, three days, maybe a week, and all at once something pops in your head the way you go. Where you stop, no one knows. <laughs> maybe, maybe one more question, and then I'm going to ask him something. Yeah. We have another question, Jason. Well, it's beyond the sticks, but as a centenary, 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 as an old guy, does he have any advice for us? At 100, do you have any advice for uh, for the rest of us here? Yeah. <laughs> well, what I've seen, though, I won't say. <laughs> no, he just uh, this you don't eat. To eat wrong. Eating, I think, is what I did. I used to do work. But every time I cut off a piece of bologna, I had to have a piece of myself. And the old county line cheese, if I cut off a county line cheese, I'd have some myself the first thing you know. But uh, it makes a difference. <laughs> Food makes a difference regardless of what you say. We all eat too much the wrong thing, but uh, I don't know <coughs> what would make you live longer. I guess it's just nature. I don't, you never know. I never thought I'd live this long. I used to weigh right at 100 or 200 years ago. I haven't used salt for more than 30 years. No salt. Except what's the food you buy, of course. And I think there's many things a person could do. It would. I used to smoke a lot of cigars. I got started that one when it was in the service, you know. You had them, you could, they were there. Cigarettes I couldn't smoke, but 
That isn't good for us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. I don't smoke cigars for. Yeah. You can break the. You can break these vices if you want to. <laughs> In the morning, I pick out what five cigars, lay them up. When they were gone, that was all that day. The next day, they let us lay up four, and kept going down to one, and that was it. Quit. Until I found one in the pocket of the car one day. <laughs> uh, there's a there's a lot of stuff that I, I'd love for you all to learn about this man. That, that's really quite amazing. The fact that he worked in a general store and, and uh, the life he had with his uh, with his wife Ada. Uh, friends and things that he came in touch with, uh, and I could, uh, he could tell you that, I, I'd try to tell you that, but I think the exhibit, if you spend some time there, it's going to tell you that. So hopefully you can spend some time engaging with the sticks, which is what they're there for. I've got one more question, which has to do with the theme uh, of this exhibit, is about remember. So many to, on many of your sticks you write remember. What do you want all of us to remember? What was that now? Uh, remembering. <laughs> uh, you know, like remember the Alamo. Remember. I, I, I wouldn't know how I mean. There's a lot of remembers. Not, not just go back to the Alamo, but so many, many of 9 11 and uh, remember Pearl Harbor and remember the Baton Death March. And, Remember our Iran, Iran hostages and so many. We, it seems like we're letting the world slap us now. We don't pay any attention. Some guy will run over us one day. Maybe we'll wake up and protect ourselves. Maybe. I don't want to get into politics. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to let you all talk with John and look at his canes and uh, but I also want to wish you a happy 100th birthday last month and tell you that we have yet yet another <laughs> birthday cake for you over here and I want to invite everyone to uh, join in uh, maybe we could even sing a happy birthday one more time for John Schoolman here happy birthday to you happy birthday
said about you. There you go. Don't get up too close and get all the bad spots. Get all the bad spots. So. Just, I couldn't find it there. Blind, I guess. Oh, you see great. Too good morning to all veterans. Do you see this one here? Isn't this one cool now, too? Yeah. Oh.